you for picking up the sticks. This is episode 102 Sticks Gaming Podcast. Once again, we are from our lovely home, so I don't know if he's to my right or my left, but I'm with Mike State Carnia. What's going on? And Art via, what is this, Discord this yeah. time? Discord, Rosian. Oh. So. This, uh, we're try- we did Skype last time. It was so, so we're try- trying Discord this time. We'll try to Zoom after that, and God knows what other <laughs> ones we can try. And God, I-, I hope we get Zoom bombed. Yeah, <laughs> make it look. And sound I'm gonna put and... so little security on that meeting. You have no idea. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna put some sweet backgrounds ready for that one. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like, if I if I turn this to a different way, like I would say, like a blue wall. Like, I can probably have like a green screen effect if it's just one color all the way across. If I want to do something goofy. Thanks. So. But um, yeah. So today, I mean, we've had actually a decent amount of stuff. We've had a inside Xbox came up. We had a. Uh, Nintendo Direct, uh, uh, just a just random shadow, not a, not a shadow drop, but it's like, here's a PlayStation 5 controller. What do you guys think? You know, it was out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure we've been playing, uh, you know, a ton of games in our isolation. So uh, Speak for yourself. A real, really? I guess we'll find out in a minute. But Snake, what you playing? Uh, not a lot of different things, but a lot of one particular thing. Um mm. So a little bit of more Animal Crossing, of course. Just you know, it's just one of those games here and there. You can do a daily cleanup, right? Like that's the whole yeah, idea. Pretty much, yeah. I log on when I first wake oh. up in the morning with my coffee, get my miles, <laughs> <laughs> do a few I, things. I haven't played that in probably since the last time we did this, so I'm sure my island just looks like a shithole at this point. It's a mess. <laughs> You're missing well, out on all the eggs right now, man. Tom Nook oh, can okay. take his fucking money and hire some help and clean up the goddamn island. <laughs> so many eggs. Well, they nerfed that. I think a couple days ago they. Found oh, really? The, I didn't. Uh, yeah, the the um the rate at which they appear is way less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Um. But the only other thing I've been playing is uh, Persona Five Royal. So I picked it up. Um, God, it's so good. It is so good. Um, I picked up Persona Five when it first came out, and I don't know something about it. I just never, I never got into it. I don't know if it was um just poor, you know how that can be, like poor timing yeah. or whatever. And, um, but, uh, but man, I, I'm, I am halfway through, I'd say the second palace and I am almost 18 hours in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. So, um, but there's just so much going on. It's the story's awesome. The gameplay is great. Um, and like this time too, I know they've, they, uh, they kind of streamlined some of this stuff to make it not so, um, like heavy. To begin with, uh, and so I think that might be helping me kind of keep going. Um, but uh, but no, it's it's fantastic. Like so, I'm. It's probably a good thing that uh, Final Fantasy VII remake kept its release date, so I can actually get some <laughs> time in. Otherwise, that because uh, you know coming a couple days now. Now, now that I think about it, you you did stop begging for it on Twitter like a, a I, week I, ago. <laughs> well, because that was that was back when I put like two hours into Persona, and then like. Since last Friday, I it's like every night I've been whatever I whenever I get some time. I'm like, it all makes really sense good. now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm quite happy right now. And I, I'm gonna feel bad for Persona in a couple, like I said, in a couple days though. My thought was maybe you just realized like it's a week away. It's not that big a deal anymore. No, if I had nothing else, if if all I had to play was Animal Crossing or even Doom or even Doom, I'd be like, no, I'd still be every day. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> So I mean, I'm still super pumped, of course, for it because Persona's getting pushed to the side once that comes in. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, it's 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 fantastic. And like I said, if you've never played it before, you want to play a JRPG that's got some big like social aspects to it. It's pretty cool. Nice. What else but, you got? Uh, a couple uh, a couple other things, but I'll I'll talk about them later. Okay. Art, what are you playing? <laughs> This isn't the format. I said, we do have a new segment I'm unaware of. <laughs> well, you know, I, I just figured I'd talk about it during the Nintendo Direct briefly. Oh, okay. okay. I got you. <laughs> just very briefly. Yeah. That's fine. Um, Just some more of some of the stuff I was playing last time. Uh, played more about MLB The Show. Um, It's still a baseball game. Mm. <laughs> for, better, for, for better or worse, it's, it, it's, <laughs> a, it's a good baseball game. Um. <clears throat> I have gotten back into uh, Rainbow Six more. Um, let me tell you something. So I also played, since the last time we've we done this, I played more Warzone. 
um, mm-hmm. which they've you know they're still they're building on that more. I think they announced a bunch of changes today, but uh, that game fucks you up for playing any other first person shooter. I could see that. <laughs> like I played that for whatever a week mostly when it came out, and I jumped back to Rainbow Six, and I suddenly can't shoot a gun anymore. Hmm. I'm just like lost. I, I can't hit anything at all, hmm. and it's incredibly frustrating. Because I was doing really well before that damn game came out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing that and getting angry at that game on a nightly basis. Sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, I, I played a little Warzones too. I got, I, I think you and I discussed, but when we were testing this whole thing out, that I got a, I got a third place out of the solos. Oh no! And if I did, if I, if I, there's like 13 things I could have done, 12 of them would have got me to a victory. I did, chose the 13th thing to do that was dumb and got me killed. <laughs> um, but yeah, like we call that the art of, strategy. It's oh god, it's so <laughs> stupid. But um, yeah, when they put a bunch of new guns in, they got a couple of new like machine guns that are like my favorite ones are now like in the normal mode, so I don't even necessarily need to get my uh, my uh, my own drop to get my own weapons now. So that's really nice. So I had a really good run earlier today. I think I killed like nine people in my match. Um, I fin- I still finished like twentieth or something like that. But one of um, the uh, changes they announced today is the the personalized drops going to cost ten thousand dollars now. Yeah, the, because everyone was freaking because, using them. Because everyone realized that's the way to do good. Yeah, get 100%. your get your preferred guns with all the loadouts you prefer on them. Yeah, not only that, but just like make sure I had the gadgets I want too. Like I've mm-hmm. I've been using the the heart rate the heartbeat yep. monitor a lot. That's it's um, great for when you're approaching a building. Yes, and I'm just like when I'm just like trucking it, trying to get back into a circle or something like that. I'm just constantly pinging and see if anything comes up. Um, so yeah, I'm still liking that a lot. Um. I've you know, been kind of just randomly dipping into my backlog, and I finally finished the game. I think I've started four times now. Um, it's from... I mean, Is it Final I Fantasy VII? Because I've started no. that at least four times. <laughs> no. I was I was looking at maybe thinking about buying like the you know the original version of it, mm-hmm. and it's still like $16 like right now on PlayStation. It's just like I... You thought about buying a whole, a whole game? Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, <laughs> I, I prefer full games, but either way. Um, Says Mr. Walking Dead over here. I got it eventually. I didn't know I wasn't buying a full game when it, when I bought it originally. Um, but um, oh, uh, Unfinished Swan. It came out like years ago, mm-hmm. um, and like I think I played that first level probably like four or five times, never finished it. And I was just like, it's like a two-hour game. I got a little time between something I'm going to talk about here in a minute and Resident Evil Three coming out. It's like I'll just it's like a it's like a two and a half hour three hour game. I finished it. It's very it gets very different after the first one. Like the whole premise of the game is like you're in this like white completely white world and you throw these black ink balls out to get like a sense of a where you're at and depth and and where to go and paths and things like that. Um, like, but later on there's a lot more you can do like not just like the black ink like you can just, you can uh, throw water at things and it helps grow a vine. So now you have like a climbing path and things like that. Um, it ended very abruptly. I thought, like, it was just like I thought I had like a, one more like chapter or one more level to go through, and it just nope, nope. that's the game. <laughs> um, so what else? Oh, so I played through the um the uh, control uh, DLC, uh, the foundation. Yeah, got the platinum in there too. So I got that. I got that done too because there's was, there's was, was only like I was missing like two or three, mm-hmm. and. I could have gone back like, and I was done it when I, when I finished the game because you can go back in and, and do more uh, missions and things like that. But I was like, those last few missions in control, the normal game were just so grinding and like, so just tough to get through. It was like, I don't, I don't want to hate this game. So I walked away from it and would, and now I went back to it with the DLC. Um, yeah. It, the, the DLC itself is great. Uh, it feels just like more control. You get more powers too. It's not just like more a story. Um, there's, you, there's more, there's a decent amount to it. And it's really kind of building on, um, it, it it goes into a it goes well. It's the foundation of the oldest building, and there was a, there was a team down there that basically kind of got stuck down there, and then you know it evolves from there. But this is like when um, the Federal Bureau of Control was just kind of starting out. Mm-hmm. So a lot of like the audio logs and, and the books you read and things like that are from like the start of of, of um, start of the bureau, which is really cool and really neat. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit different perspective of the um, of the board too, which I thought, which I really appreciated. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely excited for the the second and I think final deal DLC, which is just AWE, which is like their altered world events. I think is what they were calling it in the game. So that's what this the, the last DLC is called. 
yes, I'm very much looking forward to that because it was still great. It was super fun. I picked it right up and I was running right away. Like I didn't have that lag time. Like, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah. Um, it, it, it just wasn't that at all. And then, like I said, it gave me a chance to get the platinum on that one too, which I really, really wanted to do because I really, like I said, those games I really, really love. I, I want to get that platinum. And last but not least, I played all the way through Resident Evil 3. Um, the remake came out a week ago, I think it was. Um, it's uh, it's in the same engine as Re- the Resident Evil 2 remake that came out you know, a little over a year ago. Um, I've seen a lot of complaints online about this one. Um, some of it, I think, is a little bit founded in terms of just like the length of the game. It is relatively short. I think I finished it in about five and a half hours. I died three times, and they were all in the final boss. So, it, you know, it's... It's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, especially with the playing the nemesis, playing the demo, and the nemesis that's showing up is wrecking me in the demo. Um, I think he's placed more intermittently in the actual game, and when you usually face off against him, you're either in like a, a decent enough position, or you can like it's like all right, you just got to get from A to B really quick, and if you just you know throw a couple of, you know, rocket lo- rockets at them or a couple of, they have a um, grenade launcher, like the classic grenade launcher thing. Um, throw a few grenades down at him, he'll slow him down, and then he'll get you a chance to get to where you're going. So, like, he wasn't as, you know, as as big of a problem as I thought he was going to be, because he is, like, a faster Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he has, you know, weapons and guns and rocket launchers and all kinds of madness, too. But he's placed in a way where it's not super just, like, beats you down and, and and it's it's scary like when he still shows up you kind of you could do the same thing we kind of hear him going around and he will bust through a wall and he'll show up at the you know the worst possible times um there is less exploration in this one than in two which is which is one of the which is one of the um the complaints but like in even in two like the exploration was really just kind of like backtracking and going back into locations you were before with an extra key or wherever it was right, so right. it's not like it's not like you know you're playing horizon or something where you have this open world and you're moving around in two so i don't think that's i don't think that's a super fair one to complain about for three um i think three is really banking on you replaying it a lot because you get every time you get a trophy you get points and you can turn those points in for you know different skins or you can turn those points into unlimited you know submachine gun ammo or things like that so it's like you play through the game you get a ton of points you get those perks you play through the game easier but you have you know different things you can do and there was a couple of spots too where I didn't have like, you know, bolt cutters to cut a chain. Like I had it earlier in the game, but not later in the game with the, with the when you switch from Jill to Carlos. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can just get that as one of your perks. So I'm thinking that it may also open up like treasure rooms as well. Like if I have if I if I have that you know lock pick when I usually wouldn't have the lock pick, I'll have options to open up more things. So. But I mean, overall, I did really, really like it. I mean, it's, it's uh, like we, I think we talked about when they announced it. Like, I remember almost nothing of Resident Evil 3. Like, I really didn't remember a ton of it. Uh, this jogged a little bit of my memory, but I mean, it's very different. Um, and it's, and they changed a few things, which I think is, you know, I think leads it better into 4, because I think 4 had absolutely no plan whatsoever, you know, when, between 3 and 4. Like, it felt like 3 ended, and then they're like, let's make four different or maybe i mean i don't really know the 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 history of four um but i really don't know what they're going to do next i don't know if they're going to redo four there's been the rumors of like the resident evil eight uh the village you know v-i-l-l but the v-i-i-i right. for eight um that's been that's been kind of circulating this last week and i mean that looks interesting but i don't know what i want i really don't you know i mean I, I don't know if i want another remake i don't know if i want you know eight i don't know if i want eight to look like four five and six or like seven you know i mean there's there's so many things i like about each one of those different iterations of resident evil i don't know really what i want next but i'm looking forward to whatever it is because everything capcom's been doing lately has been great um yeah no i agree um i i I picked up resident evil 3 i haven't had a chance to play it yet though um so but i originally was going back and forth about picking it up after seeing people and what they were saying like yeah seeing like a lot of stuff was cut from the original game too which was kind of sounds sounded really disappointing yeah, I mean, I mean, the stuff that they cut, like, I don't think, okay, I mean, in the original, I mean, no, this is later in the game. I don't know if I should tell you something that's not, is, is it a spoiler if I tell you something that's not in the game? Yeah, I don't know how that works. No, uh, I mean. I'll leave it be. It depends. I'll leave it be. But I'll say, like, a short game. I'll get to it soon. Talk like, about it in a few yeah. weeks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, All right. But, so, uh, go ahead. 
uh, I was just saying, yeah, but I ended up, I, uh, with Persona, I got a $10 gift, uh, gift card from Best Buy, and then I had a whole bunch of points. So I got it for 25 bucks. So I was like, all right, nice. I'll still pick it up then. What the heck? Might as well. And I got that feels right. So, yeah, right, right, right. You want a steel book? I don't know if you uh, need one or if you collect those. No, I got, I got, I bought mine digital because oh, I, okay. I, I have, I am now propelling into the all digital future. Now <laughs> I have, I mean, a why not now? You know, but, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no. I, so I'm, I am looking forward to jumping in there. But for me, I, my next, I would love a Code Veronica remake next because that was still kind of in the <sighs> same, like it was Dreamcast PS2, but it was still kind of in that same, um, mm-hmm. you know. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 feeling kind of to it, where 4 was the next step. Right. Code Veronica still felt like the old one. So give me a remake of, like, in this engine of Code Veronica, basically. Yeah. That would, that, I would love that. And then, of course, Village, if that's what I was, I'm always looking forward to seeing what they do next. <laughs> no, for sure. All right, you were going to say something? I was going to say there was a report going around earlier in the week that in Japan, Capcom was surveying people, and one of the questions in the survey was, would you rather see a new Resident Evil or another remake for the next yeah. release? In, well, interesting. But I said, like, Code Veronica would be like that's the next logical step, right? That would that would make the most right. sense for the next one. But would they re remake one? Like, is that something that they would do? Because I, I mean, they're, kept they're not opposed to re, you know remastering and re releasing things. Like this is like even like the Resident Evil, you know, remake that's on PlayStation Four right now is like a remastered version of the remake. Right. Did they remake one? I thought it was just a remaster. No, one was redone on GameCube, okay. and it was like bottom up, completely different game. Well, not yeah, yeah. and one of the best iterations of Resident Evil. Period. Yeah. Um, that's one that you can find now, and and that's one that you can find now on PlayStation Four, and they they have like Zero as well. Like Zero's kind of like the black sheep of the family, and like if <laughs> and what I, what I thought about too is like what I'm thinking, what I just thought of right now is uh, people you know talk about like all this open exploration for Resident Evil Two remake. Zero had like the most backtracky game oh, of yeah. all time. Um, so give him one of those. See how much they like backtracking yeah. uh, and exploring the world. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of you know, circle back to it again. Like I said, it's so I said, some of the complaints I think are definitely founded, but I mean, if, if you're a Resident Evil nut like I am, you're gonna like it no matter what. And I probably won't even play it again, but I still uh, I didn't feel gypped about anything like i said i don't really have like a super soft spot in my heart for resident Evil 3 anyway so um i think just like the originals i think two is, is a superior game to three and i think that they're i'm i'm happy they both exist i guess i mean i don't, I don't know why people complain about something that they wanted for so long <laughs> for sure all right i think that's it though steak was coming out in a couple of weeks one game <laughs> <laughs> we all know what, what that is. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> April 10th, Final Fantasy VII Remake. No, it came out weeks ago. Come on. Yeah. People have been playing it for weeks. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's really the only main game in the next couple of weeks. I think everyone everyone knew to stay clear once they got... I mean, then no one added anything. No one added any really indie games or anything like that. And Yeah, I mean, this is, this is really weird, too, because, I mean, eighth, I mean, I'm sure, I don't know if it's going to be in the news or not, but, I mean, a bunch of stuff got pushed again. Like, just, you know, indefinitely like we don't know when some of this stuff's going to come out right. and then it's after all those things moved out of the first quarter anyway you know what i mean right so like this time period has just been either you know they got you no know, problem with the virus now and but even before then it was just all those games got pushed later on in the year anyway. so yeah this is you're right final fantasy 7 it's like i i looked at upcoming releases not a whole lot coming out and even until like june or july so yeah, this is this is you know again weird times for all 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 involved again. <laughs> Time to catch up on things. Exactly, that's why I play Unfinished Swan, and I why I put a bunch of weird stuff in my <laughs> now playing folder in PlayStation. There you go. All right, that's all we got then. So I think it's um, the well, we got the uh, Xbox games with gold. We didn't have those last time, the April ones. Oh okay. Um, so for Xbox One, uh, Project Cars Two from April first through the thirtieth. Uh, Knights. Pen and Paper 1 and 2 bundle from April 16th through May 15th. Uh, then an Xbox 360 that's playable on your Xbox One. Fable Anniversary from April 1st through the 15th. That is like the definitive way to play the original. Fable, so. that's, I should, that's what I should be doing with my time right now. I, I played all of 2 and just adored it and 3. And I never really got into 1. I think I, I took a, a long time ago when it came out on PC. I think I played it for a little bit then. But I don't think I've ever 
played it more than like an hour. It, that's the thing. The first hour is a little rough <laughs> with that one. But once you get yeah, through yeah. it, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, and then uh, Toy Box Turbo from April 16th through April 30th. And then so there we go. one game was added to Game Pass, uh, Near Automata, Become mm -hmm. As Gods Edition. So That's a big one, it. too. Yes. Yes. Go play that game. Yeah, extra, extra. It's time for the news. Which the I'm pretty news. sure the news is going to be pretty much the rest of the show. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well, I'll start off with the lighter stuff first, and which it's all just stuff not happening is all the lighter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, stuff that we'll generate more discussion. Uh, Microsoft has announced that all of their events will be digital until August 2021, which, unless they've heard something about E3 being later next year, means they're not doing E3. Good point. I didn't even think about that. That's yeah, I mean, I, we're going to talk a little bit more about... Oh, I'm hearing things in my house. Um... <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> oh, the we're gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the inside Xbox here in a minute, but like, I had no problem with the way that was like presented in terms of just like people, you know, people talk. It it it, it just didn't have like you know all that extra production value, which is fine. Who cares? I mean, again, let's just talk about games and show me games and what's coming out with the next systems and things like that. So, if it's all digital, who cares? Cool, whatever, just fine. Just show me something. Yeah, no, I agree. The inside the Xbox, they actually did that really, really well. And that's from home. Mm -hmm. So that was without mm -hmm. any kind of product production whatsoever. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, for them to add, like, in their own production. I mean, like I said, I still love the stage show, and I love seeing Phil. So as long as they bring Phil out on some of these inside Xboxes, I'm, I'm okay then. Oh, for sure. I think, like, switching to, you know, all digital, like, the, the big thing you'll notice, like you mentioned, you like the stage show. Um, but have you guys watched any of the wrestling stuff recently? Yes, actually. Yeah, the crowd not being there is gonna be is like a huge difference. <laughs> like especially for for Xbox because they do do the huge stage show and you know they always have the live crowd. It'll be it's gonna be a huge difference for them. Nintendo, you're not not gonna miss anything because their stuff's always pre recorded, so it's gonna be business as usual for them. Um, who the fuck yeah, who's knows what Sony's doing anymore? Who, who, where 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 is a Wu guy? I mean, if you don't have the Wu guy, how are you going to be so you know hyped up for? Here, here's what we're going to do: when they release videos, you're going to watch them with a face cam on, and every like random interval, you're just going to yell Wu, and we're going to post I'm, it. <laughs> I'm in. Whatever. I got nothing else better to do right now. <laughs> yeah. See. There you go. Just sit on that. Just sit on yeah. that audio clip. Everyone's thought they can put it in yeah. there. Throw it in there. <laughs> I they can, they can I digitize can an audience like Sony and just throw a, an occasional woo in. <laughs> this is going to be, oh my God. So it was like, you know, it's talking about like, again, we're going to, I know we're going to talk about more inside of Xbox here in a minute, but like that production where it was just like, hey, this is raw. This is what it is. I hope, you know, you even said like, you're going to see some seams, like they were talking about, you can see some seams and things like that, but it's going to be okay. I would, a thousand times prefer that than just the you know mystery science theater three thousand crowd. Unless it's really mystery fights. science theater. Yeah, it was just like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> it's this this so boggles my my mind that there's like, no, this is way better than just having someone talk in front of a you know whatever. All right, what else we got art? Uh, all right, let me close tabs here as I'm going. Uh, Bethesda said they're not doing a digital showcase this June. So they're not doing anything around E3 time. Uh, they're also not doing QuakeCon this year, which I think is mm -hmm. pretty obvious at this point. Yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. I mean, it, I, don't, I don't know. The last couple of wins have been kind of weird anyway from them. Like, I, I don't know. Like, they, they kind where, of Where am I going to get my annual Andrew WK fix? Okay, fine. But, yeah, <laughs> for, Rage, for Rage 3. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's it's... I was kind of surprised they had one last year, to be honest. So, yeah, because for the longest uh, time, weren't they like they they only did one every so often at E three, and it was only when they had something like big to announce. Yeah, and then just recently in the last like three or four years, maybe they started doing it every year. Right. Yeah, I mean, and their shows. I mean, their shows are are. are I mean, production wise, it's good, but it's just like I said, content wise, last couple of years it's been like. Uh, they came out in this like you know eight crow about the whole you know fall at seventy six stuff and how it didn't work out and and the year before that was just like 
there's all these multiplayer games. And a year before that was like, don't you love single player? So it was just like... <laughs> We're not been, giving up on single player story yeah. driven content. Right. So, By the way, yes. have you tried our online games? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is kind of weird. Uh, all right, more stuff not happening. Uh, Sony, or not Sony, but uh, indefinite delays announced for Last of Us 2 and Iron Man VR. Uh, Sony's pulled both those from the PlayStation Store and has refunded pre-orders. Yeah, and, you know, they're talking about, I think, like, in, in terms of Last of Us, I don't know where, you know, I mean, VR has kind of been quiet for a while. Like, they were supposed to be out already, and then they got delayed to mm-hmm. this new date, and then they got, you know, indefinitely delayed. So, I mean, I don't really know what's going on with that one, but, I mean, Last of Us Part Two, they've been talking, I mean, that game sounds like it's done. Uh, they're just having trouble getting it printed. I think and, that's what they said. And, I, think they, I think they even yeah. said in that when they announced that it wasn't, you know, it was indefinitely delayed. It's like, it's a distribution issue. It's not. Right. But it's also kind of a weird time to talk about, you know, a mass extinction of the human race. Like, maybe not a great time to do that. Yeah. Um, but also, <laughs> like, I, I was thinking, like, maybe this isn't great. And then I was playing Resident Evil 3. And literally, like, the, the, the game starts. And it's live action, like, news coverage of, like, everything going down in Raccoon City. And it literally says... The first two words are this pandemic. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to escape here, guys. Like, I don't want to be going, you know, and this is like right in the face. Like, maybe this doesn't make that big of a difference in terms of that piece of it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, I mean, I, I really don't like the indefinite piece of it. I understand it. I, I don't think you can just release digitally either, which I know a lot of people are talking about. I would be fine with that. Like I said, I want that. Like, I'm okay with that. Right. But I don't think that the Walmart's and Best Buys and Target's right. would be too happy. About Especially that. when you have a holiday season coming up where you want them to stock your new console. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, that's that's been the thing that they've been saying for years, been holding them back is like they need to maintain those relationships with the, you know, brick and mortar stores to carry right. their hardware, you know, and to do that they have to keep producing their stuff physically and also not undercut them in the digital marketplace. Mm-hmm. No, for sure, and uh, yeah, it's just. It, it makes me wonder though, like now with this indefinitely and everything, are, like are they going to to do you think they're going to release like a a day and day PS4 PS5 version now? Maybe I mean, but we just we still don't know how that looks for PlayStation. Like we know how that looks for Xbox, right? right. You know, if wherever they release, they're going to have they're going to know what version of the system you're playing on, and it's going to give you the appropriate you know sure. data for it. Like we don't know that's how it is going to be. Like if that was already the plan for it, PlayStation Four to PlayStation Five anyway. Um, Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I you know everyone still sounds like all the consoles are still going to come out on time, but we don't know about that either. I mean, right. we don't know how the, how all this is affecting that kind of production I, either. I stand by my original theory on that. Even if they come out in severely limited quantities, they'll mm. still hit that, you know, holiday release date. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's that's all I had for uh, things not happening. <laughs> uh, so we can get to the. All the announcements from Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation. There we go. Happiness. Well, mostly. Uh, Stake, did you have the stuff on the inside Xbox stuff, or no? I do. Okay. Um, Hit me. So, all right, here, so here's some highlights from the inside Xbox. Uh, they kicked off with showing a pretty big, a lot, a good amount of uh, Grounded, the new game mm-hmm. from Obsidian. Uh, kind of looks like Honey, I Shunk the Kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, it's coming to early access in July 28th. And honestly, I mean... For, it's gonna be on Game Pass, so I'll. It's a game I normally I don't think it would play, but it actually looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it looks a lot of fun. I like that they have a little bit of like mystery behind it too. Like they, were, they kind of hinted at that at the end of the trailer, It'd be like, "There's other things that are already built here, and like how's it even possible?" and mm-hmm. and things like that. And uh, I mean, the, the buddy companion might be. I mean, he was you know fine in the trailer. I don't know if he's gonna be. You know, I the very first thing is like if that guy talks to me the whole game, I'm gonna be blowing my brains out. <laughs> so. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, it's it looked like you said. Like I'm, I'm intrigued by it. I don't know if it's mm-hmm. going to be one of those things I'm going to be play a ton of it or not. But right. yeah, it's it's uh, I mean, it's it, it's it, it's an interesting way to kick off the show because I still think they're still holding a lot of their their cards for you know next gen releases and things like that. So this is going to be one of the last big ones for this one, this gen. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um... And then after that, they jumped into some uh, talk about the uh, tech parts of uh, Xbox Series X. 
So they're talking about kind of like the, the processor and how it does its thing, but like in a more, hey, here you go, boom, boom. I'm not going to draw this out and keep it, you know, right. keep you here in front of a this graph you see here ever. Yeah. Things that you will never understand. Here's a cool <laughs> little visual while I talk really quick. <laughs> um, they showed off the, the, the new controller for a little bit. Um, they showed off the, uh, the memory card, the new card, which is cool. And they talked about that for, again, very briefly explained why it's there. And that was it. Like, and also, and also clarified how like current USB hard drives are going to work within, within series X. Right, and they were, he was. I mean, they were crystal clear about that. Like, hey, you could you could store your Xbox One, 360 games, all that will work off of this. You could still store your Series X games on here, and you just move them to the hard drive when you're ready yep. to play. Yeah, that was big news for me because we talked about that last time. Where it's just like, I mean, one terabyte is going to hold ten to twelve games. We're assuming in this next generation console, but if I can at least store some of the stuff <clears> on the other one and have it sit there and then kind of swap them in and out when I'm playing it. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Absolutely. Uh, Xbox Game Pass is coming to Japan and South Korea on April 13th. Good for them. Absolutely. Uh, some ga- and then they announced some games coming. Um, Elvisia Chronicles, Journey to the Savage Planet, Overcooked 2, Football Manager 2020, Mistover, and Stranger Things 3, the game. Mm-hmm. We'll be heading to Xbox Game Pass. Some of those are both console and PC. Some of them are, uh, I forget which ones were on their separate, but it's just some, some good stuff. Yeah. Like, as, as always, from Game Pass. Yep. Uh, this was probably a little bit quieter than they normally have, but I mean, they still throw like, a couple of bigger games. Like, was it the, oh, the Journey to the Savage Planet? They just came out not too long ago. I was yeah, that... always more curious about that one. And then it has like one of those things where a lot of people, I think it has a, a pretty solid following for that game too. So, I mean, it's like, I've definitely heard of it before that day. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll check it out or not, but it's, it's a good get for them. Yep. Uh, then they start talking about a little bit more about xCloud. Uh, xCloud is available in 11 new countries now. And EA has added The Sims 4, Unravel 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition mm-hmm. for X, uh, xCloud. Uh, then they get, they talked about and showed off uh, Forza Street for a little while. It's coming out on May 5th. That is on uh, Android and iOS devices. Uh, then they went into a little bit in-depth on uh, Gears Tactics. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is coming April 28th to PC. And then, I didn't know this, but uh, I must have missed it somewhere, but console later in 2020. Mm-hmm. I, I thought they always mentioned a console, but I know they had like one. So when I when I said later 2020, I was like, oh, awesome! It's coming this year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I am not into tactical games whatsoever, but it actually looks really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's I I was kind of I I them I mean, they were showing like the over the top, and they, then they were showing like behind it, and and I I was curious how that works. Like the one of those things where like, I'm controlling the camera if I want to be like closer to the action, or <clears throat> if I'm just like controlling an individual you know person or character or item, whatever it is, but. Um, yeah, I'm kind of the same boat. Like that kind of stuff it isn't for me, but I mean, I do like Gears, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get me to jump on over to that game. For sure. Um, then there's been a, there's a new free update for Sea of Thieves. So if you're one of those people, go get it. <laughs> one of them. They're called, they're called pirates, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then after that, uh, they showed up a demo for the last campfire. So this is a new game from Hello Games, the creators mm-hmm. of No Man's Sky. Um, I did not know, but I guess this game is the next. They mentioned it's an Xbox exclusive. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Um, but uh, yeah, and it looks interesting. It looks really interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it showed a lot of the same things because they showed that at some other event previous, and it, more like in a trailer form. But like, I always like doing. I like when they do doing like the kind of like the, the the developer commentary behind games. I always like when they do that. I wish more companies would do that, kind of give you an idea of like, you know, what they what they're thinking or feeling while they were making it. Um, but yeah, it's it's it looks like a it looks like a definite game. I think I would enjoy. So I definitely like that. Def, definitely got me uh, that that presentation put it on my radar for sure. Yeah, I'll be downloading it day one on Game Pass. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Um, and then um, they've closed off with announcing a they're releasing a shadow drop here. Uh, Hotline Miami the collection. Yes. I mean, we've talked 
a lot about <laughs> Miami and how, how brilliant it is. So, um, yeah, I mean, having more places to play it, awesome. Go if Everyone has the ability to play it now. So if you're, you know, over the age of 17, you should go play that game. If you want to have images burned into your mind while you're sleeping of maps and the music playing, play that game for like three hours. Do it. <laughs> yeah, it really is one of those, like, it just, it disturbingly becomes a part of you. Like, it really does. And, like, it shouldn't, it, it sh- a game like that really shouldn't connect, like, the way it does, but it really does, man. And that was it? That's it? I was, just like right now, I was waiting on that one last thing. Like, I really thought they'd be like, oh, wait, one more thing. When he kicked it back to Major Nelson, I'm like, all right, one more thing. And it just never came. Yeah, um, no, it seems like Xbox just doesn't do that. Because, um, <laughs> like, because the last one was that one big one, and they ended with Wasteland 3, which I understand is a kind of a big game for them, but not for a lot of people at all. Like, it's not that big yeah. game. For, and they just, I just feel like they just don't do that. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if that's just because, like, you know, again, they're still kind of keeping their cars close to the vest in, in terms of like next gen stuff or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this one kind of got like hyped up a little bit. Like, you know, there's like, there's a pretty big like, hey, this is, this is tomorrow. Like, this is, right. you know, what I mean, I felt like there was, I, I felt like they were going to have some kind of big, you know, big thing at the end of it. But that being said, like, you know, we talked about a bunch of stuff like, yeah, I am interested in that. Yeah, I, I am interested in that. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, just get it a bunch of, you know, Show us a bunch of, you know, eight out of ten like news bits. It's not a bad thing either. So, right. I mean, so it's, it, I thought it was, yeah, I think I thought it was totally fine. I mean, it didn't blow my socks off by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. I mean, every, every one of these things is not going to be, you know, an E3 level present, you know, yeah, reveal presentation type thing. I mean, it's perfectly fine. They gave you some, you know, interesting news there. And, you know, it's not like they came out and regurgitated a bunch of stuff you already knew about. Right. Right. All right. Then uh, which one are you going to do next? you want to do the... I don't know. I don't care. Do Nintendo next. Why not? Stay do Nintendo next. Okay. I was un- completely unaware that this happened until I was on Twitter and be like, here's a... Uh, yeah, I, was like, I don't think I... I didn't know it happened until I went on Twitter in the middle of the workday and there's people talking about it. I'm like, what the... There was, yeah. there was a direct today? What happened? <laughs> no, I, I have no idea. Yeah, they they did this once before where they did not like announce it and they just not, and then they just dropped the the mini directs. Like good, the do them all like that. So I don't hear people crying about when the next when the directs going to be in a couple of days. Oh my god, I I muted so many people on Twitter. <laughs> like people were they were just getting so annoying. It was awful. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, so yeah, so here okay, so the mini direct. So we kicked off with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. It is coming May 29th. It is mm-hmm. looking awesome. Uh, and it's going to feature a new epilogue called Future Connected, which the way they hinted that, I think this is going to bridge the gap between one and two. So, Cool. That makes not, sense. Yeah. So if you already played Xenoblade Chronicles, this gives you a reason to play it. And, you're, and I believe it's going to be able, you're able to select it from the title screen. I feel like you don't have to play through the game. Anymore. Okay, cool. So you can get the new content right away. Uh, then after that, we had some stuff from 2K Games. Uh, Bioshock the Collection. Yes. XCOM 2. And Borderlands Collection, which includes mm-hmm. Borderlands 1, 2, and pre-sequel, all come to Nintendo Switch May 29th. Very cool stuff. I mean, it's if they can put Borderlands 2 on the Vita, they can definitely get it on the Switch. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Sure I mean, it, it's better. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I would hope so. So yeah, it's. Hey, I mean, the more the merrier. And those are great games, right? Right. Yeah. Is is the same thing like Hotline Miami? Like, cool. More people get to play it. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Give me that Bioshock collection for like ten bucks one these days, and I'll buy that on Switch. Just so I can play wherever I go. You hold. <laughs> you just hold your panties till Black Friday, then. Oh, mm-hmm. I will. I will. Um. Then after that, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three DLC, The Black Order. Uh, is available now. Uh, that is featuring the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. And I did not know this, but it's actual story DLC. So it's not just like the gauntlet modes like the other two were, which I thought right. was three, which makes me upset because I got rid of my Marvel Ultimate Alliance because I was like, oh, I don't want gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> garbage. I did not well... know the story. Like... Well, at least it was a Fantastic Four. That's like my 
least I had like no connection to them whatsoever. I thought it was some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I can. Yeah. I, I can. I can definitely buy that. But yeah, I don't know. It's. I'll have to watch a walkthrough on on uh, YouTube. Uh, so then after that, we get a uh, new game they showed off called uh, Shin Shin uh, Shinzakai Into the Depths, uh, and it was a shadow job. It was released mm-hmm. now. It was like a. It's kind of like an underwater survival kind of platformer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it than you just did right there. So, uh, I've heard good things though. So, uh, and after that, we got a little bit of an Animal Cross update. Uh, a couple free updates, as we already know, uh, out. So eggs are a plenty, or eggs were a plenty. I should yeah, say. they're not as much anymore. Uh, but when the Easter Bunny is hanging around, so go nuts. And yeah, that, <laughs> I believe that ends very soon, though. I believe it ends April twelfth. So, that sounds right. Yeah, and then um, the end of the month is going to be another free update, and I believe that's when they're going to start the, all the Earth Day. Uh, Makes so. sense. Uh, so yeah, so Animal Crossing. You, if you've never played one before, this is what they typically do. They have updates to meet, meet, match up with the seasons, which mm-hmm. is pretty cool. And then there's certain things you can only build and collect during that time. So you want to go get them. <laughs> it's it's. And, and that's the hook of the game. It's not just, I mean, they have these events, right? But they also have like fish and bugs. You can only collect for like a month at a time. So right. yep. like there's, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of the OCD got to collect them all type of stuff in that game. So this, and these events are even worse. It's only like two weeks, you know? Um, but yeah, it's like, I'm very glad I said, I play, I, I, I didn't really mention it uh, in my wish of playing. Cause I did, I only play Animal Crossing a little bit since last time I am up now at my third house. So that's good news. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, man, it's did, just. Did you make a killing on turnips over the weekend, like everyone else in the world? N- no, I don't. I I have not played. That. You don't play the turnip played, market. Yeah, I haven't played that game <laughs> inside the game yet. I, I just go to you know islands and just catch a crap ton of dangerous bugs, and that's how I turn my. That's how I make my money. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's like I, I, the events definitely keep it fresh because I. That's a game I think could get dull quick if you're not really kind of. If they're they're not changing it up for you, because I mean, absolutely, there's only so much to do on your island. For sure. Okay. Uh, after that, they showed a game called uh, Good Job, and it was available that day. Uh, basically, kind of looked like a. I mean, it was kind of an asymmetric view, and like you go around, you you try to complete jobs. Either you could do it very if you do it very cleanly, or you can make a disaster of it as long as you get the objective done. Though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one looked fun. that one looked funny. That it looked it looked like um, like you said, it, it gives you like an objective and like a thousand different ways to however you do it. But it, that may not be the best way. But you can definitely get the job done and right. hopefully not take out a bunch of your coworkers with you. So <laughs> yeah, that, that that one looked that one looked that one that one looked fun. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, something you know, hey, this is, this is a new era of uh, Nintendo. Uh, they showed off the trailer for Catherine Full Body. Uh, it's coming July seventh to Nintendo Switch. Was surprised by that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Christ, I should really play the game too. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I I, I only know it's so good. It, but yeah, really and cool. I, I only I only know it by reputation. I've never I never really played it. Um, but man, yeah, that's that's a very different game for Nintendo to put out. I can see that playing awesome on the Switch, like, like playing in handheld mode, like just chilling in bed, like right before mm-hmm. you go to bed, like, all right, I want to do a pu- one of these nightmare. Really yeah, cool. right, right, right. I can see that. Um, that's something I'm definitely gonna keep my eyes on for when we get that on sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, then after that, they uh, showed off uh, an update for a game you can't buy anywhere, uh, Ring Fit Adventure, because it's sold out everywhere and they're not producing it right now. Uh, but there, for you guys that do have it. Uh, they added a rhythm game, which looked really, really cool. Uh, it's uh, and it has music from Mario Odyssey, Splatoon Two, and Breath of the Wild. And then they also added a new female option, uh, female voice option, uh, new languages, and a jogging option to the quick play modes. So um, I really got I, I I'm kicking myself for not picking this up when it when it first came out. Like all the reviews and everything, and like especially right now being at home, mm-hmm. God, this would like this would just be the perfect time to have this. <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, the game played a slow burn. Cause I remember, like when it came out, no problem. 
they were everywhere. Oh, like you could find absolutely. them wherever the hell you wanted. And then like it kind of like weird got it around. And it's it's actually fun. And now, like I said, I haven't. Those are nowhere Whoa. to be found now. What happened? Nothing. Don't worry okay. about it. <laughs> Windows opening on the wrong screen. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, very bright for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I, I mean, they said that the I guess there was this probably has to do with the Switch uh, shortage as well. The production delays were because of the uh, the Rona virus. Right. But, um. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, they can get that going again. I guess Japan did get some an- new Animal Crossing's and Rings bit over the weekend. So hopefully, they're coming. Um. After that, they showed off uh, a technical game that's very big on the PC. King's Bounty Two is coming oh. in twenty twenty. So if you play that on PC. Coming to Switch now. I didn't know that was a PC game. I don't think I'd put those. I don't think I don't think I put that together. Yeah, I guess it is kind of. It's a pretty big deal too. Hmm. Uh, then after that, we got uh, a little update on Super Smash Brothers. Uh, they teased us with the uh, the sixth fighter, so the first one of the second fighter pack, and it will be a character from Arms. They just wouldn't tell us which one or tell us anything else but that. Uh, and, oh, and it's coming in June. Mm-hmm. Good. Glad to see they're putting uh, more currently relevant high demand characters in that game. <laughs> yeah, and you know, please be excited. Give us, give us your money. Be, please be excited. I was kind of surprised an arms character wasn't already in there. I, I well, yeah, that's you know, I, I you figured that'd be a shoe until they did the whole like you know ultimate thing that they you know no no one saw coming. Right. It was it was a shoe in until they decided you know what. We're just going to put everyone we've had in here before. Yeah. Don't worry about new stuff. <laughs> and it worked out great for me. Yeah. It did. It really did. Um, and then after that, uh, this just doesn't do us any good anymore, but there was an ARMS uh, free try- game trial. Yeah. But it is over with, so hopefully you got to try out ARMS if you've never played it before. Mike and I had fun with it the one time we played it. I never yeah. bought it, but it was no. fun that one time. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, I said that we always said we liked that one. We got through that like that um like the preview event for the Switch before you know a few months before it came out, and we're like, I like that more than I thought I did. And then neither one of us yeah. bought it. So yeah. <laughs> it's one of those that I'm sure it was a good time if you're there with other people playing it. Yeah. But you know if you're not in college and don't have people in your room on a daily basis. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And you needed like four Joy Cons too, because each one, yep. everyone needed the two Joy Cons for one. Yep. Team. Right. So it was expensive on top of that. Yeah. Um, so then after that, we got a little bit more of a, a little bit longer in depth view of Bravely Default 2. Um, I am super, super excited for it. It reminded me a lot of the DS games. Uh, the DS games were fantastic. Uh, and there's a demo available now. So this is what I was going to talk about. Then I played this ah. demo. I, I played through this demo. Uh, it is a very, very, very hard demo. Um, okay. But they said at the beginning that they purposely bumped up the difficulty. I don't know why. I, why would you do uh, that? I don't know. <laughs> they have a disclaimer saying... Hey, if anything, I would think you would go the opposite direction. <laughs> right? Yeah. <clears throat> Make it know. a little easier so people could get like experience all the mechanics you want them to, not... Or, hate or their like, life before they buy the game. Yeah, I would say, like, or get, or leave like the demo with like a good taste in their mouth about your game, being like, as opposed to being like, this was hard and I'm miserable. Exactly. No, it was, it was, it, and it was pretty brutal. Like, I would basically do one battle and then be like, all right, well, I don't want to waste any potions, so I'm just gonna go back to town, use the inn, and then go back out. Like, and it was just, it, it was annoying. Um, but uh, but the game itself is gonna be great. I mean, I can just tell. I mean, especially when they bring it back to a normal. <laughs> the normal difficulty yeah, right. level. Um, but I remember playing this on the DS, and I do remember the game quite difficult at the beginning, though. Like where it's like, no, you need to level up your jobs and get some stuff before you get moving. So like the first couple hours, I remember from the DS game, I, if I believe it was, I think it was the first couple hours, they were a bit of a grind. And then, but then once you got that going, you you took off from there. I got gotcha. you. Maybe that's why they did it, so that when you get get the game and play it, you're not caught off guard by. How much for grind it is? But it was, but it, this was re- like really difficult. Like, like mm. the thing is, like it wasn't hard. It was just if you went to like your first objective, the boss would destroy you. Like, so you needed to to level up. But like, but the the, be- the basic enemies were not so difficult on the DS. For this, like the basic enemies, I was getting destroyed in one hit sometimes. Weird. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, interesting strategy, Cotton. Yeah, this plays out. <laughs> right. 
Well, they sent out they sent out uh, surveys. If you played it, they did ah. that kind of thing. Like afterwards, like, oh, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? I had the only I think the only thing I hated about this was the difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like, I understand what you guys were doing or what you said, but at the same time, come on. <laughs> right. Right. Um. So then after that, uh, they showed off a new Clubhouse Games uh, Worldwide Classics coming June 5th. There's 51 games on there, and it's going to be 40 bucks. Yeah, I'm buying that. That yep. had all that 51 <laughs> games, and it was just like, you know, if, you know, I like remember you get those all like PC games, it would be like 501 games, and like <laughs> a bunch of them would be like kind of the same thing. But then they had like a knockoff version of like Battleship and a knockoff version of like Scrabble. Like it was, it, this is what that's in. It's like there's a bunch right. of stuff like that. On top of just like having just like, you know, chess and 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 backgammon and things like that, like, it's, it, there's just a lot there. And for forty bucks, like uh, that'd be perfect for like a road trip or a plane trip. You know, when we get to do those things again, and you and and you get to just kind of like pass it back and forth or have play on the same screen. Like it's perfect. Absolutely. Uh, so then after that, we got a I believe the second time they shut off this game, Nijala. Uh, it is a battle royale free to play game. Uh, it's coming May twenty seventh, so kind of it's like an, it's an eight player battle royale game, so it's smaller. Um, but it's kind of got like a kind of a cutesy, like cartoonish kind of look to it. But okay. It's like, but but murderous because you're ninjas. <laughs> so I don't know. Looks interesting. Yeah. It's battle royale, so I won't play it. Um, <laughs> Uh, so then after that, uh, they showed up uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, available now. So mm-hmm. it's a shadow drop. Uh, and it's cross-play with the PC version. What a weird time we live in. So, like, you can play a game that came out 20-ish years ago. Like, it's, you know, with people in PC. Yep. With, on a Switch, of all things. Yep. What and, a world. And uh, I don't know if you saw the article. Switch people destroyed. Well, yeah, shocker. Of course, shocker. Of course they are. <laughs> Fucking shocker. Yeah. Well, same, you know, we talked about Warzone a little bit ago. Is this like they still ask me? You know, they ask all the time if you want to do like a crossplay. I'm like, absolutely not. I not no, not never. Can I turn this off forever? Oh God, Art, could you imagine Rainbow Six crossplay? I I would stop playing if it was forced. <laughs> That's like people ask for crossplay, and I'm like, yeah, cool. Let us crossplay with Xbox. I'd be all for that. Right. Yeah. So people are like, no, I just opened up the whole environment. I'm like, no, absolutely not. Actually, the PC people are very into that idea because like, you can tell you can tell instantly if someone's playing with a keyboard and mouse, like instantly. Right. And so, I mean, vice versa. If you on PC and play with a controller, you can tell right away if someone's playing with a controller. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then after after they announced that, uh, they tease us that Star Wars Episode Episode <laughs> One Racer is coming soon, which is awesome. Yeah, I, the game is so good. I rented that from Hollywood Video. I remember that. Um, yeah, that game was super fun. That was way better than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's the. It, I'm hoping it. I'm. I'm assuming it's gonna be like the Dreamcast or PC version of. Would be my guess. I, Who knows? I mean, <laughs> you you would think so, but I mean, we'll see uh, what comes out. Yeah. <laughs> And then after that, uh, we got a new trailer for Panzer Dragoon Remake and mm-hmm. a Shadow Drop. It's available now. Mm-hmm. So I have not had a chance to pick it up yet, but it is. I need to do that soon. Uh, then we got our typical right at the end montage of games. Uh, Trials of Mana. This mm-hmm. is still on track for April 24th. I am pumped for that. Um, Fuser, which is the new Harmonix game, is uh, fall 2020. So that's pretty cool. It's, I didn't know it was coming to Switch. Yeah, neither did I. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to be all about still. Um, the Elder Scrolls Blades in spring 2020. Mm-hmm. I forgot that was coming to Switch. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 Mecha- Me- Mechanicus uh, May 2020. Uh, Vigor. It's a closed beta uh, coming April 9th. Which I did get into, so oh cool. Will, uh, hopefully, I get the oh it's oh it's tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, see, dude, this work you know this being home all the time. Who I, knows what day it is? What I know the actual date. My, if it wasn't for work meetings, I would I would have no idea what day it is. 
Like, the last thing I do before I go to bed every night is I'm like, all right, let's look at tomorrow's meetings. What time do I need to be up? Oh, shit, tomorrow's <laughs> Thursday. Yep. Um, so hopefully I will get that code in soon or so I can download and play it tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow's going to be the only game we'll be able to play it because with Final Fantasy X, I'm the 10th. Forget it. Yep. Um, then they uh, showed up and announced uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered coming in 2020. That's pretty awesome. That's very cool. More Burnout, please. This whole, like, I, they, I mean, they had that, like, dangerous driving that came out that was supposed to be kind of like it, but it's not just, you just don't have that kind of, like, you know, that big publisher backing for it. So it, it's just not going to be quite right. Um, yeah, give me a Burnout for crying out loud. No, stop. Need for Speed had this time. Give him, a, give him, give him, a, give him a year off or something. Make me a burnout. Well, I think after, if I, I think, I, I think I saw after Need for Speed Heat, I believe they gave that back to Criterion. Oh, really? Uh huh. I think the next one's going to be Criterion. So I think something tells me that's going to go away again for two or three years, and that's going to be next gen. And I, I just, just throw a burnout mode in there. <laughs> that'd be, man, that's so great. I mean, they had that. Um... What the, it was from the same dangerous driving people. They had like just like the crashing mode. I forget it was I forget what that was called. Um, Wrecking crew. No. Oh, danger zone. It was called danger zone. Danger I think. Zone. That's right. And it was it, literally it just. And you played that. I did. That's why. That's why I'm stupid and couldn't think of it. Um, I'm sorry, I think you streamed that actually. I did when we were doing that kind of. Okay. I did. I, I I got. I bought it like kind of on a whim. It was like something new. I was I was playing. It was my turn to stream, and it was like the day of like new releases. Like, what came out? That came out, so I played it, and it, I mean that was super fun. And and like it, it was you just it, played it for the name. Well, it helps too. <laughs> my fantasy football name for geez, a year since Archer came out. Um, and it was like just like just put that with something else together, and you basically have burnout. That's I mean, there's right. that's all you need to do is put it all in one package because like piecemealing it together. For sure. Uh, and then they showed up uh, Saints Row 4, re-elected on mm -hmm. March 27th, so it's available now. That's not, okay, I'm shaking his head, so I assume that's not the good one, right? No, 3 is the good one. Okay. No. 4 is four was a, initially intended to be a DLC for 3, <laughs> but they, it was so large that they just made it a separate game. It's the same map as 3, except that there's like aliens and shit now. It, oh. It's dumb. <laughs> it, it, 3 just, go ahead. I was going to say, 3 is getting remastered mm -hmm. uh, at the end of May, but did you see that they're locking it in space right now, though? No. So they're, they're like up in the, like the physics and all that kind of stuff, but they're still locking it at the 30 frames, which is, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that seems like, well, okay, I guess. I mean, we'll just call it a re-release then, really. I mean, if yeah. you're not, whatever. I've played. I've played. Same, I've played three recently enough. That I'm not gonna be running out to buy that when it comes out. Yeah. Plus, I think the original version of three is on Game Pass. I think you're right. I can find out for you. I can turn my game. I can turn my Xbox on right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. You, you, you do that. I'm gonna start playing fucking <laughs> baseball here while we're doing this. I'm gonna say you're gonna have. Uh, if you launch the first salvo, all bets are off. <laughs> all right, just, well, just, just, let me go grab my switch and we'll play yeah. 64 <laughs> while you guys are doing that. <laughs> I'll go clean some weeds out of my island. <laughs> um, and then there was a trailer for The Legends of Heroes, Trials of Trails of Cold Steel 3, coming on June 30th. Uh, and there's a demo available right now for that game. Um, that's a huge, huge series of Japan that they've recently started to bring back here. Uh, but I hear if you start with three, you're confused. Oh, good. So Perfect. It's kind of weird that they're releasing three on Switch and not the three that they just re-released on PS4. Um, and then we get a new Mr. Driller game. Yeah. Drillerland. Uh, coming <laughs> on 25th. Who saw it? No one saw that coming. I didn't. I, I figured Mr. Driller has <clears throat> been dead of old age a long time ago. But <laughs> sure. Bring him on. That's right. And then last but not least, uh, Minecraft Dungeons is coming in May. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it's interesting. I mean, expanding the universe is all cool, but like, I don't know. I don't think that's really what Minecraft is. It's not, but, but it's an asymmetric Diablo-style game, so when it's on Game Pass, I'll play it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure for some people it probably is. Some people probably go in there wanting to kill all the, you know, the baddies and 
Now there's a yeah, game more geared, geared towards that. That's true. And I, there's been more game modes recently with like Minecraft, was just like you know battles and things like that, not just exploration and mining and things like that. So maybe I'm maybe I'm playing Minecraft wrong for I think seven you, years. I think you need the educational version. Uh, I really do. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then yeah, they wrapped I mean, up with Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, which I didn't watch. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> so I have no opinion. That's my opinion on that. Is I just skipped it. Um, yeah. Again, it's it's more this kind of the same stuff. It's like little stuff here and there, and cool and fine and all right. That's that's interesting. Yeah, as opposed to like that's amazing. You know what I mean? Like so, I don't know. Well, and that's usually how this one is. I think. I mean, the next one's gonna be June. It's gonna be their E three one. So okay, and, and it's gonna be that's always when they do the. Honestly, that's usually the only one that's really like. Huge. Knock your socks off. I would say yeah. outside of the first year of the Switch when they were announcing like a big game every month. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that's they, they seem to put a lot of their eggs in that basket and announce stuff, and then throughout the year they will give more detail on what they announce there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. for sure. All right, last bit of news: PlayStation. All right, let me see if I'm if I can cover my face up with this without breaking everything. Oh uh, God! Oh, oh no! no the... There it is. So there it is. Sony released uh, <laughs> an announced or whatever it announced the controller for the PS5. It's the Dual Sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't have all the details up here on it, but it's basically everything they've been saying it, it's going to have. It has. It has the haptic feedback. It has the advanced rumble, which I, you know, it has the tensile trigger, you know, triggers so you can feel, mm-hmm. you know. More resistance. Resistance, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, outside of that, it's white. I mean, I mean, the big change. <laughs> so the big changes is like the share button is not a create button, and you did like more details, more details to follow. So I don't know if that's what the hell they're cooking up on that end of it. Right. Um, there is a microphone built into it, so that's kind of nice. If you, if you know, for that may even have like gameplay implications. They I didn't really didn't talk much about that either. I don't know, like for single player stuff, but I've read that like now, if you want to play a multiplayer game, you don't need a headset. Yeah. You can just do it all yeah. through the controller. The, perfect. And the, the little light bars, are those little two little blue things you see on the each side of the touchpad there, which I surprised to see. I think we all thought the touchpad would go away. I was going to say, I mean, the, yeah, the touchpad being there is surprising, but then also to, to, for me, the blue bars, the whole point of the blue bar back before, I mean, yeah, they, some games made, you know, they made use of it, but yeah, but they knew the the PlayStation VR was coming, and that was like a main for that was for the tracking purposes and everything. Where it's like, okay, well, there's nothing in the front of this, so the PlayStation VR cannot track this controller. So is there? Any, there's nothing on the back of it. There's no. There's no bar or anything in the back no, of it. It's just those two. From what they, from what I, how I understood the article, it's just those two parts in between the uh, touch pads is where the light bar is. So it's like what. Why? Like you're just killing battery again? Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought that. I thought that was weird. I was kind of. I was hoping that they would show that. Like the other pictures they have were like that one, and then one from like a side profile picture of it. And I, I was hoping how to see the back of it to yeah. see if those back buttons were there or get maybe some other hints of other things that might, might be hiding back there. But um, yeah. I mean. I, I saw that come up on Reddit. And I was just like, "No fucking way! Yeah. Get out of here!" Great, then, another like, so... another mock up. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So yep. I, I see one more mock up of of what someone thinks the box art should be. <laughs> oh my god! I know. <laughs> yes. And then I go to Twitter. I'm like, "Oh, that is a thing." Okay, cool. And it's like, I I mean, I feel about this the same way I feel about the other hardware so far. Is I can't really form an opinion until I have it in my hands. Right. And that's that was my thought on it too. Was like, I'm not gonna really know until I use it. Looking at it, I hate it, but that doesn't mean anything because <laughs> I'm with you, Art. Well, it's, it's, like yeah, you said, weird. all the stuff that I wanted gone is still there, still wasting resources, and it's white. My dirty ass hands are going to leave marks all over that fucking controller. And like oh, within like yeah. five minutes of it being out, someone like took it, popped it in Photoshop, did a black a black one, and like here we go, it's better, and it looks much better in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, like- all the, there's been a lot of Photoshop ones, and yeah, the all black. I was, 
someone did where the, at least the touchpad was black too. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just the sides are white. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, if it was like that, I'm like, okay, that's kind of sharp too, even. But yeah, the all black one looks awesome compared to this. Yeah, there was one that someone did where they did like, it was all black. The PlayStation button logo was the old rainbow logo. And the, uh, the face buttons all had the colors for the shapes. Yeah. And I'm like, that looks awesome. Yep. Yeah, it's like, it, I mean, this being the main one is a very, I, I almost said bold, but I don't think that's quite right either. Like, it's it's a weird choice. Like, it just straight up is to have, you know, I can't, has any controller ever been white that comes came straight out of the box? Xbox 360. Yep. Okay, that's true, I guess. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. So, and, well, and I remember seeing those things get, gross oh, yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> i'd have to wipe mine down with a paper towel windex that black yes. fingerprints on it mine was so disgusting. yeah i mean it's just i don't know like I, I, aesthetically i'm not i i am also not a fan right. i i I, th I think the uh, having like no color on the buttons i think is kind of neat um and like the black one that you said that mock-up one is very cool because it's like very you know it's very minimalistic on on, on everything else um but yeah, it's just, it's funky, man. I don't know what to say. It's, it's one of those things like, I'm nitpicking. If it works fine, I'll, I'll. it's fine. I, I really don't ultimately care what color the controller is. Like, right. I buy different color sure. PlayStation controllers because they're an option. I'm not, you know, not buying controllers because, damn, they only have black. I really wanted a red one. Yeah, and like, ultimately, if I can play Horizon 2 on it, I'll be happy. You right. know what I mean? Like, I'm not... I'm not. I'm not playing with a controller right in my face, so I'm not really looking into it too often. Right. No. Um, I, I saw. I saw someone tweet that they said that if you take it, like, he's like, as I was scrolling through, he's like, he's like, I took a quick glance. He's like, I thought that was the first third-party PlayStation Five controller. Just by, just by first glance, I'm like, I, I get it. Like, I, I yeah. totally get. What yeah. you, I mean, yeah. If you're scrolling past and not paying attention, you would think that. But I, I, I have no doubt that this is gonna. I have a feeling this is gonna be like their. It's gonna feel like one of their best controllers in a long time i have a feeling it because does it look shaped a little more like an xbox one i was gonna say it had a little more curve to it yeah. like around like where like the hands go on um also USB C, which i like so that's okay. better for like fashion I, I, was, I wasn't able to tell that from yeah. the picture but yeah it's i was wondering what the port is and um there's something else that they talked about like there just... is a headphone jack too yes it's okay a, yeah there is a headphone jack cool so I don't know. I mean, again, I think we'll see. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Sure. It, it's like I said, we're we're bitching about cosmetic stuff. Oh, if, yeah. it, if it works good, then nobody will say a thing afterwards. They'll say right. when you guys, you know, when you guys will start releasing more colors, so I can buy another one. But if it works well, and you know, they actually put features into this that developers are going to use this time instead of a trackpad that almost nobody uses for tracking, yeah. just as an extra button to press. Um. Yeah, no, nobody will say anything if it works good. Yeah, just again, I, I, I'm looking. I do hope that uh, I'll still be able to use my PS4 controllers, though. It, I would really think so because all those buttons look. I mean, everything is there, right? right. The touchpad is there. Right. But, but, I mean, yep. the shared options button. They, they have a different name now. I mean, the share button is a different <clears throat> name now. But everything is everything is there. So I, I don't see why not. Um, but I mean. Who knows? Do you, guys, do you guys think the uh, system itself is multicolored then? I think it's going to be white. God, I hope not. I really think it's going to be white. Ugh. I was so happy when the the uh, Xbox One X came out because then I had everything black in my TV stand again. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. There, there's more white in that thing than anything else. I mean, can, I get, not, can, get... can you give me two SKUs? Give me a black option? No. I can't get. I can't. I can't help you with that. I right, get the spray paint. <laughs> Day yeah, one. I think, yeah, I get think the, it's uh, gonna get be the, get the car. Get the car sprayer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> go, go to a yeah auto, auto body shop. Can you guys paint this for me? Five hundred dollars. Pop off the cop off the case. Here you go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be mostly white with like black, like molding on it and things like that. This thing is gonna. It, it's gonna match. It's it's. No, I made the dumbest comment about the white controller a minute ago, but there was Xbox 360 was also white. So like yeah. you put that stuff, and that stuff just goes together. That was that, um, that system too got dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Interesting. And it was like, and they, and what I th- also thought was interesting is they put that, again, they just threw that out of Twitter and it's like, here's the new controller for the new system, guys. And that was like oh, two yeah. hours before the inside Xbox thing came out. So I don't know, they were trying to eat their lunch a little bit. They're being like, like, but they've been doing that though too. Like, here's news. Here's big news. Here's a big piece of news right here for all to see at the same time. You know, it, it, it's, it's, what it's a, such a it's such a wild time for this next gen, you know. And I don't, and I don't think you know the whole virus thing has anything to do with you know them deciding just to do like a Twitter drop on this. Like that's how they've been with stuff nope. recently. Yep. No, I agree. hundred so, percent. I think this is just their plan all along. I mean, you know, Art's favorite Jim Ryan seems to know what he's doing. It had you know uh, you know people were complaining about like oh like how are you gonna get like eyes on this thing you're not making it a big deal like it was also like the number one trending thing in the world I was you saying, know, it, at, that, at that time so like they're doing all right well let's see every games media personality is on Twitter and they probably follow the PlayStation account and they saw it and then they wrote a blog about it or made a YouTube video about <laughs> it or did whatever so there's your eyes on it the yeah, people who, the people who want to know about it are gonna find it. And they all seem surprised themselves, so I don't think anyone mm-hmm. knew this was coming. Sony. Yeah, I, which I, is kind of nice saw, for a change of Sony. Yeah, right. For real. Um. So yeah, I mean, Dual Sense. No, didn't see that coming. No. <laughs> no. I mean, that's another thing too. Like, the Dual Shock games been around since what PS2. Yeah. It's kind of no one. Yeah, it, so, came, it came out. It came out later in a life cycle. Later, life yeah, cycle it's, it's been around for a while. People know that name. It's kind of curious they chose to go away from that name. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're gonna take a risk, you can take a risk of something that's coming in the box to your system. Right. You know what I mean, but I don't know. If, I was, I, I no, my prediction. I said I, I was really hoping that they were gonna release a, a pro controller with you know with this one. I was hoping that that was gonna happen. It looks like that, at least as it stands right now. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. So uh, it's my only real disappointment. It's kind of why I'm hoping that PS4 peripherals are supported on PS5 because I have my Astro controller and right. I would prefer to keep using that. By the way, speaking of, you had that like back pedal yeah. for your PlayStation, right? Yeah. You know those are nowhere to be found, right? Seriously? You can you you can look on Amazon right now. It's like 150 bucks. The, uh, you, no no WalMarts, no Targets, no no Do one really has those things. What? Really <laughs> 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 Making a few bucks here, sir. <laughs> yeah, see, look at that thing. You got gold in your hands right there. You don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tiny There's one right there. Like, yeah, I, I, I was like, I had, um, I was just gonna, I was like, I was kind of just looking at it. I was like, maybe that's what I was gonna do with that GameStop money. I was like, I'll just buy one of these things, right. yeah. out of stock, used out of stock. <laughs> there's, there's, you got nothing. I mean, just, when I, I, I had it pre-ordered on Amazon. And didn't get an update by, by the time on release day. So I canceled my pre-order and bought it online and picked it up at a Target by me. Like, the day it came out. But, like, yeah. a- Amazon didn't send me any kind of update that it wasn't coming on launch day. And I didn't need to have it on launch day, but... Yeah. It's, it's nice to have an option if, you know, one of my batteries runs out. Cool. I have another controller sure. I can use as the back paddles. Because playing Rainbow Six in particular, if I have to go from back paddle controller to no back paddles, it's... It messes with me because then I'm going from using back paddles to lean and to having to use analog stick clicks. Yep, I can totally understand that. All right, guys, I think that I think that wraps us up here, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's everything. That that's actually is. That's the topic. That's everything. <laughs> we went uh, we went longer than I expected. That's right. We talked. All right. Um, again, we're playing this, you know, day by day, just like everybody else. So we're probably going to be back here in the same format in a couple weeks. Uh, So uh, y'all stay safe, and we'll see you next time, stickheads.